following is a demonstration of Mediasphere. Begin by selecting the Media Mining option under the Demos menu. Select the Click Here link and enter your login information. In the main view, you will find all the currently available digital assets. These can be sorted by their upload date or their view count. Clicking on a video will bring up the Media Details view page for that clip. Audio from the video, which is recognized by the automatic speech recognition engine, is displayed as text in the source text box. Corresponding text translated by Aptex machine translation software is displayed in the translated text box. While the video is playing, the segment of speech recognized by the ASR engine will be highlighted in both source and translated text display. To stop highlighting of text while the video is playing, simply check the Stop Highlighting checkbox. If the Highlight Name Entities box is checked, then potential proper names will be highlighted. Clicking the Display Names button will bring up a pop-up window with a list of names from the text found in both languages. The various icons at the top of the page represent the operations a user can perform on a digital asset. The first from the left is the View Summary icon. The user can click on the Summary button and display the digital asset's summarized source and translated text. The summary was generated using an algorithm which determines which text segments generated by the ASR are most relevant. The user can click on the comment button to display and add comments in multiple languages. Previous comments, if any, are displayed in the top pane in chronological order, while new comments are added in the bottom pane. Once the user has finished typing the text, clicking the post button will submit the comment. A user can click on the Edit Description button to rename the description of the digital asset. The user can click on the email button to forward this page. The user's default email program will start up and the email body will contain a link to this page. The next icon is the Export Source Transcript and Translated Text button. This enables the user to export the digital assets source and translated text to a text file. This then brings up a pop-up window with the options to open or save the file. Clicking on the Edit Source Transcript and Translated Text button enables the user to make and save changes directly onto the web page. The second icon from the right allows the user to open or save the video onto a personal hard drive. Clicking on the star icon adds the digital asset to a personal favorites page. The search page allows the user to search for all digital assets that match chosen criteria. Results will be displayed in the same basic format as the library view. 
and a segment surrounding the keyword will be displayed with the keyword highlighted. The user can even receive alerts of digital assets containing specified search criteria. To add a new alert, go to the alerts page, enter an alert name, a search term, and select the frequency in which you wish to be notified. The following displays Mediasphere's telephony content. These clips differ from the previously shown video clips in that they only contain audio. Most importantly, telephony contains a noisier broadcast with conversational language, introducing machine translations in colloquial dialects. This is an example of the Arabic dialect. The audio is recognized by Aptek's ASR engine and displayed as text in the source text box. The corresponding text translated by Aptek's machine translation is displayed in the translated text box. This is an example of telephony in the Italian language. This is an example of German telephony. In addition to the previously mentioned languages, Mediasphere also contains telephony content in French, Spanish, and Farsi.